Hello everyone, it's Copyright Cup. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to install Lunar Client Profiles on macOS. I know you guys have been requesting this tutorial for a while now. It took me a while to find the folder for .lunar client because I am not primarily a Mac user. So let's get on with this tutorial. First off, you want to download the profile that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to be doing my profile that um, I will have linked down in the description if you want to try it out for yourself. What you need to do is just download that. Um, an ad might pop up, just close out of that. And now what you need to do is you need to find a way to extract it because a lot of um, people that upload profiles, they're going to be doing, uh, as you can see with this download, it's a .7z extension, which can't be opened on Mac. Same with RAR and other things. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get an application to extract that. So I found this on the App Store. It's unzip. It can unzip RAR and 7-zip files. So, install that. Give me a moment to sign in with my Apple ID. All right, I finally logged in, and now the application is installing, and here we go. So, let's wait for this finish. All right, now we can go into the launch pad and open our unzip. Now we can unarchive files like 7-zip and WinRAR. So let's go into here and open a new window the file explorer or excuse me finder um, and then let's go to the downloads folder where we have that zip and you can drag that into our unarchiver and just like that you can see all of these stuff in the zip so what we can do is we can um, export the files so we can see export And we can do that to the desktop, just so we know where it is. Put it someplace that suits you best, so there it is, we have our profile. So now the next step is going to the actual file. What you want to do is you want to click on the Go icon on the top of your Mac, go to Go to Folder, you want to press the tilde key, which is that, that key right below your escape key. You've got to press Shift and then click that to get the tilde, and then you want to do forward slash, and then dot lunar client. And then hit OK. And as you can see here is our dot lunar client folder. This is what took me a while to find. And now what you want to do is you want to go to settings, game, and then you want to drag your profile that you want to import into there. In my case, I'm going to be doing my profile. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just call it Copperhead Cup for convenience sake. And then what you need to go to is you need to go to your profile manager.json, which is right here. You want to open it up with text editor. And then right at the end of this right here, you want to add a comma. You want to go to the start of here and copy the section that is default. So you want to copy up to you right there. So press control C. So what you want to do is you want to paste that in right there. And then what you want to do is you want to change the name from default to the exact name of the file that you imported, or folder that you imported. So mine is copyrighted cup, in which case I'm going to do copyrighted cup. And then display name, we can set that to whatever you'd like. Mainly, you want to keep it the same name as the profile, probably. So I'm going to do copyrighted cup. And then you want default, you want to set that to false, and active to false. And then you make sure that you save, so command S, you can then press command Q to exit out of that, command W to get out of that folder, and now you can launch Lunar Client, and let's see if this profile is in there. Bear with me, there's an update. Alright, Lunar Client is about to launch, give it a second. Alright, there we go, Lunar Client is loaded, so let's go to multiplayer, let's join a server, I'm going to do Hypixel. Um, again, I have a very slow Mac, <laughs> so this will be interesting. Let's press the right shift, go to mods, and let me full screen this. 
right there you can see copyrighted cup is an added profile so if i select that now my hud from windows will be on mac and there you guys go i hope you'll enjoy and have a good rest of your day while i'm currently baking this computer anyway um that's enough of that all right thanks again for watching peace